Oh, you freaking asshole. You, you really? You're just gonna leave me like this? How's it going, all you creepy crawlies? Dragast here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at a game called Insatia. Now, this is another feeding and growing game, similar to something like Feed and Grow. The idea is simple, you eat things that are smaller than you, and then you avoid things that are bigger than you, but this game takes it to the next level. There's a lot of games like this, and I actually avoid a lot of them because I would consider them to be somewhat of YouTube bait, but I played this one for a little bit, and it's actually pretty complex and pretty impressive. It's actually been in development since 2014. Now this is the beta for the game, and currently there's only single player, but there's different levels where you have to do different things, so there's like challenges and whatnot. The starting one is called Save Your Tail, and you're supposed to do exactly that. So this is kind of a tutorial here, I've already done a little bit of this, so I will show you as we do go along. But here I am as my worm, the whole goal here is to save my tail! Oh god! Okay, well that didn't last long at all. <laughs> Really? I did- I had no problem with the first level on the first run through and now I'm having problems. Alright, let's try that again. If I remember correctly, I think you're actually supposed to fail on the first level. It's basically made to do that, but I do want to last a little bit longer as a big guy because it's kind of fun to do this now. I'm gonna go this way because I know over there there's lots of big guys, so let's- Oh god, don't eat me! Please don't eat me! I'm gonna eat you! There we go. Alright, and the whole point is to save my tail as you can see, and I, I don't know how long I have to save that for, but I am chomping this guy up. Oh god, oh god, I'm so dead. Run away! Run away, little guy! Oh, don't look behind you. You 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 are not doing it too well. Okay, well we lasted a bit longer that time. I'm content with that. Now this is kind of like the uh, tutorial guys. I don't know why they're not like bugs or something. They're just random people. Uh, he says maybe one more time. Nope, no extra stress. Let's start with the eggs. So we're starting from the beginning now. That was kind of like a, a showcase of what could happen. All right, tutorial two. I have no legs and I must run. So here we are as a little egg. Now, uh, we're supposed to hatch this egg, so I think I just press buttons here until, you know, life happens. So, press up. Okay, there we are, and here I am. I'm a little worm, and I'm ready to show this world what I got. All right, so we're too small to eat any bugs right now. We're a little too slow as well, so I'm going to collect some berries here. Maybe I can eat this guy if I get lucky. There we go. We're getting big already. Alright, now it's actually going to show you why I like this game so much, because it has this unique slithering action that you actually have to utilize to keep your momentum and speed up. So I can go forward very slowly. It's telling me to release the forward arrow, because this is as fast as you can go without your slithering action. Now you can see the bar right there, that's about half speed. But if I start slithering like this and do it at the right time, as you can see here, there's like a rhythm... You get to go way freaking faster. Now, the moment you stop doing that, you slow all the way down to the ordinary speed. So it's actually a really cool mechanic, uh, and it's actually very difficult because you have to stop pressing the up arrow when you do do it. So we did the second level there. We just had to do 20 uh, slithers, and uh, now we're done. Okay, so it wants me to go on to the next level now. I'm thinking we're probably done the tutorial now, and for the record, this is as far as I've gotten in the game, so the next mechanics are, you know, totally new to me. Fireflies got in the red beetle's box, and the light is keeping them from sleeping. Let's turn out the lights. This is chaos, this box is only for the red ones, so it's lights out for the fireflies. Here's a tip, the worm only tries to bite what it can swallow. Look at its jaws, the worm opens them when the prey is nearby. Okay, so, what's in the hubbub? Alright, so we got some beetles here, so I guess we just eat these, there we go. These guys are probably not going to harm me too much. Oh, there's a big beetle here. Can I eat that guy? No, I can't. That's the fireflies. Okay, so I know what they are talking about now. Press and hold alt to inject adrenaline into the worm's bud. It slows down time and highlights edible things. That's pretty cool. Let's do that right now. Uh, so we are slowing down time, and I guess the highlighted things have this green glow around them. That's really freaking slow. Okay, well, it's not too hard to tell what we can eat right now, but later on... What is this thing? Is this like a safety net for the beetles so I can't get in there? But I'm assuming later on it's going to be hard to find our, um, food. And I like how these guys actually do run away from you. They're not just mindless. They're, you know, a, a prey item, and they act like that. They'll, uh, try and avoid you and run in a different direction, as you can see. 
Okay, but the point of this one is to eat the fireflies. We are probably getting to that size now. All right, so we got another mechanic here where I have to hold forward arrow and control while moving the worm. Turns will become sharper. Okay, I'll try that. Uh, let's hit space to continue. So forward and churn, and yes, as you can see, that is much smaller than, for example, that. All right, so another mechanic I have to remember. I like how there's guys below me as well. So we're in some sort of box here. I know they mentioned that at the start, but I didn't notice it until now. They are actually below me. All right, just eating up these guys. There's the firefly that I like to see. Can I eat him yet? Uh, I should probably learn how to turn harder. There we go. Come on, little firefly. I just want to eat you. Nope, still can't eat him, so we got to eat some more stuff here. All right. Actually, I've already eaten a firefly. There we go. We are big enough to eat the fireflies now. I guess this is as far as I can go. Look at the size of me now, and I like that it shows you in the top corner how big you're getting as well, because it's hard to tell in games like this. At one point, you just get so big that you take over everything else. There we go. We can eat that guy, and we can probably trap guys like Slither.io, where we uh, just wrap them around. So, for example, if we want to trap this guy in here... We can just go to my butt, and there we go. He's stuck in. He doesn't know what to do. I guess he can't fly away. All right, we need one more firefly. There he is. Delicious. Cool. No more fireflies. Red can sleep tight. The ones that survived, of course. Yeah, I ate quite a few of them. All right. Do not turn on. I kind of want to turn on. Oh, feet are activated. So what does this do? This is something new as well. It's working. Judging by the picture, some aphids will appear soon. Okay, so this is to feed me, I'm assuming? Bob, I put the sign right here. Do not turn on these experimental aphids. They still something, something, something. Okay, so I'm assuming this is going to be what we're doing now. Holy test tubes, Batman. That's a pretty good saying. I like that one. White aphids still got in the bottom of the box and bread. Who will clean this mess up? It looks like Dre Worm will. Bob could do it, but he managed to slip away somewhere. I got you covered, guys. I can eat these things up. Fine, let's have some fun. Throw a few more worms in the box. Let's get the most gluttonous one win. Or sorry, let the most gluttonous one win. All right, so I guess we have a challenge here. I need to beat the uh, enemies in eating these white things, and there is a lot of them here. Oh, my God. I love how they're all just spreading away from me as I uh, devour them. Okay, we do got a green guy here. Oh. What time is it? Jumping time. Press and hold down arrow or shift and your worm will jump when you release it. That's freaking cool. Okay, well, I'm trying to fight this guy right now. I don't really want to jump just yet. There we go. I'm clearly winning. There's actually a leaderboard here. This is going to be so cool when there's multiplayer with, with leaderboards like that. Okay, but let's try this jump out. There we go. So I guess you can jump over other worms and whatnot to eat the enemies. All right, where are these other worms, though? I know I ate one already. I think there's two more. Your competitors are green worms. Don't be afraid to eat the other worms. Okay, yes, I will eat these guys. I'm going to chase up to them. He's trying to jump away. Oh, there we go. Sorry, buddy. You're, you're, you're quite delicious. Okay, how are we doing? Hugh is uh, doing pretty good here at 36. I'm at 51. I better go get Hugh and uh, put him down a notch here. I think this is Hugh right here. Hopefully, there we go. Super, the greens ate the dust. So, yes, that was the final green worm. So, I got rid of all the competition. Now, I just get to eat the rest for my own enjoyment. All right, and there we go. Another successful run. Didn't really have too much of a problem with those worms. Let's move on and see what happens next. Party in the incubator. Everyone is hatching now. Some become adults and others become horse divorce. What? Stay alive for 60 seconds and we'll write about it in the local newspaper. Okay, so this one is going to be difficult. Yes, we already got worms here. Oh god, please don't see me. Ho, ho, run away, run away. Oh god! <laughs> He just ate my friend. Okay, I'm gonna eat this guy. Oh, delicious. Okay, I ate part of it. I can't eat the middle part, though. It's a little too big for me. So I'm gonna go over to these beetles over here and try and grow myself while these guys fight each other. Come on, little beetle. Come here. I need to eat you. I'm scared of all the other enemies around here. I've lasted 24 seconds. Okay, let's eat this guy now. Delicious. This is just wrong. I mean, I hatched with that guy. We, we, we had a good relationship going on, and I just ate him for breakfast, essentially. There's something wrong with that picture. Okay, 40 seconds so far, so good. Can I eat this? Oh, yes, that's gonna make me way bigger. Those are some big pieces. I can't eat that one yet, but if I eat a few of these bugs, we might be able to. Oh, shit. Oh, oh God, jump! Oh, God damn it. He got my neck. Of course, he got the one spot where I totally die. And we look, look at the fucking time. We almost fucking made it. All right, let's try this again. Be born, little buddy. This green guy is here once again. Hopefully, my green friend gets eaten instead of me. Okay, I'm gonna sneak out. Oh, God. Okay, somehow he didn't eat me there. <laughs> 
All right, I think I'm gonna go back over to my beetles here. It's actually quite safe over here. Mind you, this is a way slower way to grow, but uh, I'd, I'd rather focus on safety right now. Holy shit, those guys are so big over there. I just gotta stay to the outskirts and play, you know, the stealthy guy because I am way too small right now. I can't even catch up to half of these bugs over here. Okay, 57 seconds. There we go. We have made it. I did the stealthy strategy. And he says, not bad, of course I doubted you at first, but you coped very well. So I guess, you know, the stealth strategy is sometimes the winning one. Let's go on to the next thing and see what happens. I see that you've gotten used to it, it's time to show you one special technique. We got more things going on, there's so many techniques here. Okay, so he'll show me the sharp turn technique. You probably won't survive the next boxes without it. Didn't we already learn about this, or is this a different sharp turn technique? I guess we're gonna find out now. Special tactics, okay, so we got some white grubs here. Gonna eat these guys up. Delicious. Okay, press the up arrow while trying to rock the worm's head back and forth and it will twist sharply like a mosquito larva. Am I, am I supposed to know how a mosquito larva moves? Is that normal? Okay, so I guess we just press up and rock the head back and forth and yes, that is much more tight. Uh, that, I guess that's a different way to move. There's multiple ways to do this and then we can obviously do our slither to keep our speed up. Good, now press up or control while turning to dive into a rapid turn. I will count your successful attempts. So I think it's very similar to the control method that we saw before. I think it's actually more or less the same. So let's try this sharp turn. There we go. Uh, didn't consider that a success. Oh, okay. So it is a little bit different each turn, it seems like. All right, we're going to do that again. I, I guess we just got to kind of spread out here. Do another one and another one and another one. There we go. Well, well, got addicted to adrenaline, huh? Show me. Okay, well, I guess we got to use our adrenaline again. It's just trying to uh, make sure that I remember all the mechanics of the game, I'm assuming. Uh, because I know how to use adrenaline. God, the enemies grow up are getting big. Final technique, if you hold the jump button and not release it, the worm will not jump, it just shrinks and then relaxes. Try it at high speed. Okay, that's kind of weird. Okay, but I'll try it out. Okay, so let's try it high speed here. We're going to go full throttle and then hold and... Oh, okay, so it's a little bit of a power boost. Ah, uh, your training is complete. Now it's time for a serious challenge. Okay, I'm up to the task. I've learned about all the mechanics now, I'm assuming. Now it's time to get, you know, messy. Well, it's worm hunting season. I'm ready for some worm hunting. I just hope I'm not the one that's hunted. For reference, green worms are harmless. Black worms are dangerous only if you get between them and their food. I didn't know green worms are har harmless. Red worms are aggressive and mainly eat other worms. Okay, so I'm a red worm. I'm probably supposed to eat other worms then. Oh, as you can see in the bottom corner, it's telling me to do that. Okay, so here we go. Black worm. Oh. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well, that, that, that was a good run, guys. All right, let's try this. What the fuck? How am I supposed to? What? Okay, I, there's got to be some sort of... Okay, maybe I'm supposed to use my speed boost here. Let's try that out. There we go. And go, 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 run away. Okay, we made it out of there at least. Okay, now it's probably smart to just eat over here. What the fuck is this thing? Is that an egg? Or is that a bug of some sort? I want to eat you. There we go. Okay, we got some jumping eggs here. The green ones are peaceful. I got to remember that. Oh, God. We got, we got a red one over here, though. So I'm just going to stay in the corner here and eat as much of these little jumping beans or eggs or whatever the fuck they are and try and grow myself. And then we're going to be aggressive and get the other worms. Oh, well, oh God. That thing's, that thing's pretty big. All right. Let's try and pounce on these guys. I should probably utilize my uh, strategies a little bit more. There we go. That's definitely how to do it. You do the pounce or they run away. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. You're huge. Oh, you freaking asshole. You, really? You're just going to leave me like this? Now, now now, I'm half a fucking worm and I can't catch up to these damn bugs. All right, hold on. Jump and... Oh, god damn it. I can't even jump very well anymore. All right, let's try and be more of a predator here. I feel like, yes, I can definitely eat the ends of the black guy's tails. I just have to avoid the, the red ones and obviously get out of the way of the big black guys. Oh, shit, son. This is looking like it's going to be a good meal over here. I can't eat it. I'm too freaking big. Or small, rather. All right, may maybe I'm big enough now that I ate that one piece. No, I can't. And he ate me, the bastard. Okay, I'm going to eat some grubs. We die. Ah, God damn it. No, 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 no. Jump away. Okay, holy shit. I, I guess I wasn't in between him and his food. Okay, we got some red guys over here. I'm pretty big right now. I'm definitely not as big as a lot of... Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Ah! Okay. Oh, actually, this is a good guy. Okay, I got scared there, but I think I can actually eat this guy's tail. There we go. You definitely want to eat those green guys because they don't attack you. All right, I'm following a green worm now. I'm going to jump on him. There we go. That's what you want to do. I ate a whole freaking worm there. That <laughs> felt great. Now I feel like an actual predator. I'm big enough to the point where I don't think I'm going to have too many enemies here. 
And I can just enjoy myself and eat some bugs here. All right, hello, Mr. Red. How's it going? Hey, Green. How are you doing too? Okay, we got some black guys over here. What, what did that say? I don't know what happens when you go on top of these, but uh, don't forget, adrenaline gives you a little time to think a little. Okay, I probably should use adrenaline more often. I like how it like gives you tips as you play because you forget a lot of things in games like this. Oh shit. Okay, I should probably eat this guy. There we go. Oh, you are screwed, buddy. I think I got everyone. Yep, there we go. It was easy, wasn't it? Well, it took me a couple tries, but it wasn't that bad. A wormer day keeps the doctors away, ladies and gentlemen. I guess that's the truth. Well, no more violence. Let's start a race. Whoever is first after two laps win. One lap consists of five checkpoints that are activated one by one. By the way, the longer the worm is, the faster it crawls. Okay, so this is actually going to be a really fun race because you might want to eat something just to expand as well. I expect you to at least get second place. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh, God, is it going to... Okay, here we go. Let's just do this thing. Oh, shit. Okay, I, I have to use my pounce to my advantage. All right, there's another point. I've made it. I'm I'm currently in third. I definitely didn't want to do better, though. Let's keep using this jump to our advantage. And I'm in third still here. I'm just going to follow these guys. We're all spreading out, though. So I feel like this is not really a race. This is kind of like a find the points. Now, I'm in second now, but uh, the third place guy is right behind me. Oh, God, that guy's big. All right, I'm definitely not expanding as much as I should, though. So I might want to look for some food soon here. But I am utilizing my jump to my advantage here. All right, let me eat these guys for a little bit. I am in second place right now, so expanding will probably be important. All right, there we go. I'm on second place. Corkscrew is way ahead of me. He's doing really good. Can I eat this guy's butt? No, I'm still too small, damn it. All right, I think I just caught up to Corkscrew. This is him right here, I think, so... Let's use my jumps here to try and keep my momentum up, but I feel like using jumps is probably not a very good idea either because it kind of ruins your slithering action. There we go, we got that guy. And still, I'm about, you know, six seconds behind. I'm not doing too bad. Oh god, I don't know if he can eat me. I'm kind of scared of him. But, uh, yep, still doing good. And I just realized that red mark on the map is the actual next checkpoint. So I've just been getting lucky following the worms and actually hitting them. But I'm on lap two. I'm doing pretty good here. Uh, I would like to expand myself a little bit, though. It's hard to find bugs, though. Second place, not too bad. Oh, that was lap three? Uh, I, th I, th I thought I had one more lap to do. So I guess it was good enough for them. All right, guys, well, we're going to wrap up this one here. That was just a quick look at Insatia. I absolutely love this game. I'm going to probably do another episode of it. I don't know how far we got here because it doesn't actually, like, unlock them. You can just play whatever the hell you want. But I'll figure out how much we have left, and maybe I'll do another episode if you guys do enjoy it, of course. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I will see you in the next one.